Hey, how's it going guys? Last week I made a video about the best wireless router that I've ever had, which was basically an Asus AC68U. And I talked about the highlighted features of the device. And if you watched the video, you probably remember that one of my favorite features was actually the VPN server. As a server, it supports point-to-point -point tunneling protocol or PPTP and also OpenVPN. I've already went through PPTP in a video that I talked about VPNs in general. And today I'm going to be talking about how we can configure an OpenVPN server on an ASUS wireless router. This OpenVPN is available in ASUS WRT firmware and I would always make sure that I have the latest firmware installed. In the VPN section, I will need to select the OpenVPN and then enable it. In the general page, the first thing I need to select is the RSA encryption. RSA is an encryption algorithm that is used in the initial steps of the connection. And of course, 2048-bit is more secure than 1024-bit, so I'm gonna select that. Next step is basically the purpose of using the VPN connection. If I choose local network only, then when I connect to the VPN server, only if I want to use the resources on this local area network, then I'm gonna use the VPN tunnel. But let's say if I want to access something on the internet, then I'll use my local gateway for that purpose and the traffic is not gonna go through the VPN tunnel. However, if I choose internet and local network, then everything is gonna go through the VPN tunnel. And it doesn't matter if I'm trying to access the local network or something on the internet. And this is what I'm actually going to select. Because sometimes when I'm outside and using a public Wi-Fi to access the internet, then I use a VPN connection to my home just to add an extra layer of security. Next step would be to create a username and a password for the VPN client or clients. Now at this point I can go ahead and save the settings by clicking the apply button. VPN clients are going to use the public IP address of the VPN server to connect. And if I have a dynamic public IP address then it will change from time to time and can cause a problem. So to fix that I can set up a dynamic DNS or DDNS on the wireless router. It will give me a domain name which I can use instead of the public IP address. Even if the public IP address changes, this domain name will remain the same. Next step is to export the configuration file. This configuration file is going to be used on the client side along with the username and password we created here to connect to the VPN server. But before I do, I'm going to switch to the advanced settings and go over some of the advanced options here. Even if I don't make any changes here and use the default settings, the VPN connection should still work fine in most of the cases. The interface is set to tunnel. This would work like a router. The VPN clients will receive an IP address from this subnet that we can specify here. And they're going to be routed according to the routing table. This way only layer 3 IP packets will be transported. TAP on the other hand would work like a switch, so it behaves like a real network adapter. This basically means the LAN and the VPN clients are going to be on the same subnet and same broadcast domain. This can cause broadcast overhead on the VPN tunnel. I would use TAP only if I had to, for example if I want to transfer non-IP traffic. OpenVPN by default uses port UDP 1194 for the VPN connection. It is also possible to use a different port number. There have been occasions that I was somewhere that they had blocked this UDP port number and I couldn't use the VPN connection. So I had to change this port number here and set it to TCP443 which is HTTPS and should not normally be blocked. So now on a VPN client machine which is outside the network, I should download and install the OpenVPN software. Then I can import the configuration file here. Now I can go ahead and connect using my username and password. There is also an OpenVPN app for Android and iOS devices. Alright guys, thank you for watching and please make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you again and I see you next time.